Hey, hello everybody. I am going to take a video of this property that this gentleman has allowed us to take pictures of. That's Ray and my wife. Ray's the gentleman that built this. Ray's almost 80 years old. He's been building this for 23 years on this property and he's worked on walls on his other property prior to this for 14 years. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff that he's built all by hand, all trucked by hands. These are Karens. These are in memory or they're, they kind of resemble with the Karens in the Adirondacks. And he built three of these here. So if you could see this rock wall, I know the son's a bear, he's built this rock wall. I'm going to try to walk and not bounce as much. I'm going to get in the shade and then turn around and show you some of the other. Okay, we're getting in the shade. Okay, let me turn around here. So this rock wall goes his entire property length. And it goes out to the main road. We're up here in Cortland County, New York. He's an avid hiker in the Adirondacks. And this has become an obsession of his and he loves to do it. He may wagon three to five loads a rock a day and maybe not some at all a day. And then, I know, let's see if it comes into focus here. And if you can see further across this property, there's a rock wall there. Now let's walk towards the back and hopefully y'all don't get sick from my shaking. We just thought that this was amazing. We saw this last, last year visiting our kids and saw him outside finally and asked him if we could take pictures. He said yes and he came out and gave us a tour and told us the story behind it. And he has this monument we'll call it that a lot of kids come out and take pictures from the high school and stuff like that and people to stop by. It's my understanding that he's been written up in the magazines as well. Some of you may have already heard of him. This is an area that he's working on as we speak and he wants to make this maybe into a sitting area and a fire pit or just a gathering area. Let's go on over here. He'll walk out to the cornfields over here to the right and get a lot of his rocks. He said after he did his first one, after 14 years, that he wasn't going to do it again. Then he walked out there to the cornfield and there was a rock right there. He's, and it started all over again. And then another one and another one. And he just continued to get them day by day. And this is a product of 23 years. Can you imagine? Keeps you moving, keeps you alive, keeps him healthy. He hikes, he runs, he builds a rock wall. This is his fire pit area. He's got seating. He said he used to burn out here every day and sit out here. But I guess the novelty of his fire area wore off. And he doesn't do it all the time, but he does. It's part of his backyard. Now he said this wall stopped. Uh, let's see if I can get my finger in here. Uh, right here, that was the top of it. And then he stopped. But then he 
continued on years later. And this is his backyard. Now, I grew up in the Hudson Valley, New York, and I remember rock walls, well, not like this, and rock walls back in the day were used to mark property boundaries. So I'm going to stop here. Hopefully my shaking is not too bad. But let's see if I can get this wall over here. I'm going to try to zoom this in here. And it goes all the way to the front. But this is an incredible creativity, artwork, endurance. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. This is a passion, an obsession, a disease. I don't know. But this, this wall and this property is phenomenal. And right now at 6.15 minutes on this video is the longest I've ever done a video. And I think this was well worth it. But anyway, I had to share this on my YouTube channel. And hopefully everybody enjoys it. You guys have a great day.